Whoops. Turn that down just a little bit there. Alrighty. Alright, what is going on everybody? The Lost Joker here. And today I'm playing uh, a game. It's called Fallout. Uh, some kind of, some kind of game. So there's this show that came out, and I've been watching it on Amazon called Fallout. It's pretty good. And apparently they made like these games based on it. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> I've never played Fallout before at all. I play. I I I did play one once, like for an hour. I I, I don't count it as really playing. I was at someone's house. You know what I mean? Like I was just. I was like, oh yeah, I'll run around with a gun. I didn't really play a game. I really like the show. I thought the show was very well done. And I'm a fan of the lore of the world they set up. So I want to check out the game. So we're playing Fallout 4 today. I'm going to start a new game. And I'm not going to do anything crazy with the character creator. I'm pretty much just going to leave everything default. I just want to see how the game works. And see what I think of it. Hmm. <laughs> Loading. Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 4, which surprisingly came out in 2015. So this game is almost 10 years old. And this is the last entry in the franchise, as far as I know, which is surprising. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep the default. He's a good-looking chap. If I'm gonna be in first person, who cares, anyway? Oh, there's one of those robots. Let me turn it up 
back a little bit. I, now I feel like it's a little bit too low. Thanks, Kazuwe. Of course, sir. That's right. Which is why we've developed the Whiz Bang Bang weapons, so bullies around the world never bother us again. Huh. What did you say? <laughs> Maybe you should just see for yourself. Bunch of our old holotape recordings. Holotapes. I feel like it's super low. Like, the main menu might just be very loud, is what's going on. Okay. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hi, Nora. Hun. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Hmm. More of the same. Boston Bugle. Now, who left those here? It's a little early to be drinking. It's never too early. I'm so proud of her. Juris Doctor? What's a Juris Doctor? Good old USA. Huh. Can you get that? Sugar bump. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Salesman. Good morning. Voltec calling. Voltec, yeah, I know. Yeah, they're in the show. Oh, Voltec, cool. <laughs> remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters, vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. <laughs> you will excuse my language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Okay. Vault 111. Vault 111. How many vaults were there? Um, but there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, okay. of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Mutants. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's like a it's like a it's like a role playing game. It's like a D and D game. Twenty one points. All right. Uh, my name is. Oh, I can't type. It's not letting me type here. There we go. What about sugar? <laughs> If I have 21 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can do 3 in each. 
That would be an even spread. And maybe for my first time playing this, I should do that. Yeah. That way, like any situation in, I'm just like mediocre at dealing with anything. And I'm assuming we level up and we can put points into things we want. That's most of these games. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. And I have my moments. Hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. <laughs> Codsworth. You heard Codsworth. Sir, Go if on. I may, Sean requires your personal attention. A boy needs his father after all. Sean. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Whoa, she just like <laughs> disappeared. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see. Look at the race car in the background. Godsworth? What's wrong? I should see what. Followed by. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Nora, take the child. In. That's take the child and run. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. We need to go. Hey, Codsworth. Pennsylvania. Sir, the news. My God. We need oh to go. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. What? Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Come on, come on. Let's get in this Jeep. Oh, we can't. Okay. Hold on to Sean. Come on, Nora. You... Slow. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just help me pack it up. Nah, we don't got time for that. Who knows how close one of those bombs went off to us? We don't know if a shockwave is about to hit us. That's the guy. The program step forward, otherwise return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Did I give him my name, Yoon? Come on, let's go, let's go. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? They're going to die, Nora. They're going to die, and we're not. That's what matters. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, Nora. Come on, Nora. Come on, get on the platform. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my <gasps> God. Hold on. Oh my God. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Whoa, that was cool. If they make a Fallout 5, I probably will end up getting it on launch. I'm kind of into this lore of the world now, and that was kind of, that was good, and this came out almost it. 10 years ago. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. But we're, we're in a step off the elevator new situation. Up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. 
We'll get everyone situated in your new home. I'm worried the bombs Vault might have been the first of our problems, Nora. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we wouldn't no, have made no. it. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. It's giving me like Half-Life vibes. I don't know if you guys ever played Half-Life, but the beginning was very like... You're walking through a very cinematic situation. People are talking and things are going on. You're in a lab. Nora, come on. Pick up a suit right over there. Thank you. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Right over there. Just take a vault suit, then head down the hall. Over there. Take a suit. Excuse me. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow Did me. Did you get a suit, Nora? Hey, hon. We made it. It's down the hallway See? right there. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna one love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Hey there. Who belongs? Oh, honey. What if they can make it? Why is there security? We'll be down here. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get all first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Let's come to ball. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse me. Follow me. This way, please. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. Shh. Hun. will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper into is it okay, is it safe to put the baby in there like that depressurize what if its head explodes I love you Nora occupant vitals normal procedure complete in five four three what This is not a decontamination pod. This is a cryo chamber. Oh my god, they're freezing us alive. No. I'm not giving you shot. Oh. Nora. How long has it been? Come on! There has to be a release! 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Then I'll get Sean back. I promise. Nora. Why? I have fists. <coughs> I can block. I can take everything. Yeah, again, I don't know how long it's been that I've been in that cryo chamber. What's going on here? Welcome to Rob Cohen Industries. Term like page one six years. Security instructions. Confidential. Confidential. Vault one eleven is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring signed staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Okay, it says load hollow tape. I can't do anything. Operation protocol manual. Resident admittance. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, all personnel required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not, a company, not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any Detainees dispose. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Staff duties. Oh boy, science staff. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension. I must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusions, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcing enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by Vault Tech. Facility services and maintenance. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer discretion. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels. Enemy invasion, sub subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault tech personnel may be evacuated to over at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault tech, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. What? They're not even going to bring the residents out? That's crazy. Mandatory shelter period. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. 
Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from Vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. So we're, we've been here at least 180 days. Oh, well, no, we don't know that. We probably have been. There's nobody here. Security logs. There's a few. October 23rd, 2077. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we're all smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice. We were That we were smiling at them all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? I mean, yeah, it's fucked up. December 25th, this is Christmas of that year. Christmas Underground. Got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snake snack cake that wasn't too stale none of the scientists came overseer wasn't there either i just don't get them Are they hiding something from us another company secret only for the higher ups whatever just a few more months until the all clear is just supposed to come through then we can start rebuilding this is march 14th 2078 the next year only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period everyone's getting stir crazy some people are even saying the all clear signal is never coming we can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. April 23rd, 2078. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the Overseer's Evacuation Tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. And then it says last entry. No all clear from vault is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another we're getting out of this vault. Okay. And that's it. I think I need a coffee cup. Oh shit. It's one of them cocky roaches. I did it. Giant. Rad roach. roach. Rad roach. What the hell? Bruh. Bruh. Like what the fuck? Is the water clean? I don't know. Hot plate.
recreational terminal. Where's my drink here? Oh man, all right, hold on. Overseer member, remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Top 10. Rick, Tim, TGM, Say, SQV, TNM, TCL. It's like a game. It's Red Menace. Oh, it's it's Donkey Kong. Bum 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 bum. All right, you can't jump with this shit on. man don't put it in the game if you don't want me to do it oh shit what okay Interesting little game. I already checked that. I <laughs> like how my wife just died. I'm like so ADD. I'm like, ooh, Donkey Kong. Can I like equip one of these weapons? Like a screwdriver? Oh, what? Well, apparently, you can switch between first and third. Oh, don't go that way. That'll get you killed. Impacts. Restore 30% of your max health, heal damaged limbs, and can be favorited for quick use. Is this all that's left? We've been here a long time if these guys are skeletons. Hey, oh shit, that's a gun and some ammo. I'll take that. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Press A to use it. Okay. If I wanted to put away the gun to save the ammo, eh, I should be okay. It's only the first drawer, okay.
nice. Coming back later for you. Huh. Overseer's terminal. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to read so much. Overseer instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault technicians. Under no circumstances, is suspended. The suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. Cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Operations protocol manual. Oh boy. Resident in minutes. Upon activation, there's your attack. All personnel required to report to entry. Uh, we already read this. Yeah, we already read that. That was on the other one. Okay. Overseer's log. Preparations. Final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. vault supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Oh god. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff were nearby w when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute that's us I was worried I was worried there would be more suspicion but things happen so fast for these people they must have been over too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods yeah for real Yusuf says has fun bro have fun bro thank you Yusuf I just watched the show and uh, I already like know some of the lore here so like I'm, I'm I, I, this company is so fucked up oh my god Strange issues today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started throwing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect the hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their system was are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Supplies running low. There's been no all clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down there. If people think we can just leave when the 180, 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I j can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be ir irritated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting their staff the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves that, what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, there's fewer mouths to feed. That's messed up. And then open evacuation tunnel. The personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Oh, I just did that. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow the shutdown protocols for exiting and re-sealing Vault 111. 
Please maintain all staff records and research. Report to your local vault tech superiors for debriefing and further instructions. Okay, so I opened... Yeah, that's the tunnel. This must be the overseer's office, right? That's him. I'd assume. Yeah, we checked all this. Okay. What if I wanted to put it away? Nope. That's not how to do it. Alright, but what if I want to holster my gun? How would I do that? Oh, you can melee. Okay. Let's fire. That's this VATS thing. Press RT. Guns can target specific limbs with LS. Melee weapons cannot target limbs. Okay. So it's like a time... You freeze time and do a special targeting thing. That's weird. It's a little weird. Yeah, so... What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's the point of that? Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? button. Copyright 2075. Oh boy. Hold on, wait, I want to. How do I look at that? How do I look at my pit boy? Why is Y jump? That's crazy. Okay, whatever. Try to get used to the controls. 
Alright, so Pip Boys B. What is this? The year is 2287, it says. Holy shit. October 23rd, 2287, 9 1 a.m. Oh. Oh, look, there's other... Okay. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, wow. This is interesting. All right. This in an MMO form would be pretty cool. Now I kind of want to try Fallout 76. I would want to play a game like this with other people. But the question remains, how would I put away my gun if I wanted to? Let's say I want to holster my weapon. Hmm, I don't think you can. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm supposed to... I, I have to use the Pip-Boy at that terminal. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, God. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like the last chance you get. Okay. Um, let's do it. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Oh boy. So would you guys recommend Fallout 76? Is that something that I should try? I do, I have it. And I understand it's an MMO. Oh my lord. It hurts my eyes. My old home. Where's my child?
Well, there's wildlife. That's a good sign, right? Take all that. What's a two ball? There's bottles. I don't need that. Oh, there you go. Take that. Terminal's broken. Let's see what else we got around here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my old house. I have no idea where to look for a clue for where they took my child. Why did they take... What was his name? Joshua? What was my kid's name? Joshua? Or something? Caleb? I don't remember. <laughs> It's my old robot. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. Uh, this isn't happening. Everything's dead. You're still here. You're still here? Codsworth? You're you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation deter the pride of General Atomics International. <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? <sighs> they killed her. They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. Sean. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? You, wait. He seen... How does he like checkers? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play day. I am so confused. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. Oh my god. 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. <laughs> At times, people will withhold information or caps. You can attempt to, to persuade them into sharing both. Are you okay, I say? Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. It was easy. What's wrong? I... Heart. I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. <laughs> Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. 
And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? <laughs> what do you know? What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Hi, honey added. Uh, holotape. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. Mm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Is there anything dangerous? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Uh, I don't know, Codsworth. I... Follow me. Oh, Jesus. All right, hold on. Well, what if I want to? Hold on. Can I? Oh, it pauses. Okay, cool. What is this? You're listening to, uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If, if you're listening at all. I mean. Next is some Cole Porter. Oh, but over copyright strikes. I might have to not listen to the radio. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Instead of landing on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock would land. Oh, I am not turning off the radio. <laughs> I don't care if I get a copyright strike. Kill him, Cosworth. <laughs> oh, this is great. Codsworth. Sir, the missus and young Sean, they aren't here. I know. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the house. Okay, I want to look around for materials. Oh, can I turn this on? No. Oh wow, you can adjust the view. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Duct tape might. 
A workbench. Five steel added. I can make a comfort grip. Give it a long barrel. Listening to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio, if if you're listening at all. I, mean, I know you just can't get enough of that Roy Brown. I mean, I hope that's the case because I kind of. That's where we're stuff. going. Here's Roy Brown. Pipe pistol drifter outfit. The cars look cool. Red rocket. Greet the dog? Oh my god. Hey, buddy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you lose your owner, buddy. <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Face your dog and press A to begin issuing commands. Okay. Boy. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? <laughs> I 
Okay. I guess that's like spam. Workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove nearby objects and structures. Move between the uh, build. Wait, what? Furniture decoration. Whoa, what is this stuff? We got something going on here. Don't hit the dog. Oh my god. Mole rats. Huh. So what is Red Rocket like my base? Is that how this works? Eotronic. Pre-war money. <laughs> See what we got going on here. Business entries. New equipment installed. Took some wrangling with their head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to, to machine machine our own parts. No more having to pay for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a damn fastener. Just take one we got and trim the excess down until it fits. The Rosa Widow in Sanctuary Hills. He's restoring an old classic Corvega with your son. Nice woman, pretty. Kid seems kind of like like kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she even came to me is because the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. Jim, take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a long-term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? There's a cave here? Go back. October service logs. Place the brakes in... Wednesday, October 6th. Monthly service in the vault van. No major issues with the vehicle. Dad's an asshole. Late modern motorcycle. Friday, October 22nd. This is the day before the bar. Placing an atomic alternator in a 2073 Corvega. And that's it.
Okay. One thing I'm gonna do, just, just, I'm worried about getting copyright strike. I'm just gonna turn the music down a bit. Or, oh no, wait, the radio would be what I wanna turn down, yeah. Just so it's kind of a little bit more background music. It's all right. I don't think I did anything. <laughs> game. Hey. Wait there. Over here. Where is he? Oh. Hey. Alright, I gotta go this way. Hatchlings. Only a hatchling, so there's bigger ones. Great. That's fantastic. Some kind of two headed cow. Quantum. Some sugar bomb. You just heard. Uh, help me. Lucky you were. Oh, bobby pins. That's for like opening locks and shit. The, the jeweled green. I mean, the green. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's. Diamond City Radio. Would you like some Danny K? I sure thought so. Were death claws in the show? I didn't see a mention of a death claw. I don't remember. Maybe there was a reference to it that I didn't see. You know what I mean? Like I said, I never played the games before, but I did enjoy the show. Hold B, oh, hold on, wait, it said hold B to open the perk chart. Oh, I leveled up. So I get to put points into things. Oh man, I get to pick anything? I can put points into something I already have. Or choose a new skill. Iron Fist, Pickpocket, Toughness, Cap Collector, might be beneficial. Bands. Gunslinger, Fortune Finder, Scrounger. Lady Killer. That's funny. At the movies, they have got to pay many coconuts to see. What do they do? With access to base level and rank one armor mods. Armorer. Awareness. Life giver. Lone wanderer. Shoot first, kill first. Smooth, bloody mess. Mysterious stranger. 
What is that? Who is he? Why does he help? Who cares? A mysterious stranger will appear occasionally in VATS to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. What the hell is that? Mr. Sandman? You can instantly kill a sleeping person? Hacker, attack dog. Blacksmith. Heavy gunner. Demolition expert. Aqua boy. They swim and they fish, but that's what I do all year round. So, bongo, 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 I don't want to leave the bongo. Idiot savant, you're not stupid, just different. Randomly receive three times XP from any action and lower the intelligence. The, and lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. Lower your intelligence. I do want to get anything that gives me more XP early. You know what I mean? So if there's something here... Wow, there's adamantium skeleton. You can be Wolverine. <laughs> That's cool. Inspirational. Sniper. Basher. Rooted. Penetrator. Ghoulish. <gasps> Radiation now regenerates your lost health. Uh-oh. Alright, I can't do any of these because it says you need a minimum of certain stuff. Um, I need luck 5 for Idiot Savant. This would give randomly received 3 times XP for many actions. So I think I should put a point into luck. And then next, do Idiot Savant. What do you think? That would give me a higher XP gain earlier. Unless there's something here that gives me higher XP. But I just didn't notice. I wasn't really looking before. I also want to try Mysterious Stranger. What is that? Alright, I'm going to do Luck. And then next level, I'll do uh, Idiot Savant. I am now highest in Luck and Luck. I'm hearing shots. Come on, dog. <laughs> I guess it's like a percentage chance to hit that. How do I stim pack the dog? Heads up. I leveled up again. Okay, so I'm just going to do... Right away, I'm going to do... Idiot Savant. I'm not stupid, just different. Randomly receive three times XP from any action, and the lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. Money, money, 
Can I auto pistol? Sack hood with hoses? Oh, is that clothing? Here, let's just... I think it's like armor. Maybe we can break that stuff down too. I don't know. Short double barrel shotgun, right leather, right leather, exactly. Raider leathers. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe we should take everything. Just take everything. Is there encumbrance? I don't know. I know not. Alright, where am I going up there? Laser musket. How do I switch guns? Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that song by Warren Smith, because I can't take it back. sort of a uh, note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. Oh my. Why drink dirty radioactive water when you could have it pure and bottled? Shang okay, that's cool. Clean water market, straight from the filter. Sheldon Ullman wants his girl to crawl out through the fallout. Uh, How do I put away my pistol? That's my question. So much, much wouldn't he have been with her in the first place? Through the fallout, baby, when they drop that bomb. Crawl out through the fallout with the greatest of aplomb. When your white count's getting hmm. higher, hurry, don't delay. I'll hold you close and kiss those radiation burns away. Crawl out through the fallout, baby. To my loving arms. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Think about your hero when you're at ground zero and call out through the fall out back to me. Crawl out through the fall out, baby. You know. Be able to pick this. Damn it. Select a potential password with less and <laughs> if your chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letter and position, will be displayed on screen. Wait, if your chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, 
will be displayed. Okay, so... Four temps, okay. Let's try Ghost. So, it doesn't have G, H, O, S, or T in it. Is what you're saying. So, it can't be Table. It can't be Vault. No, it can't be that. It can't be that. It can't be that. That's got O and S. That's got a T. That's got an O. I don't know. Wait a minute. Tires got T. O. T. T. Is, uh, am I doing this wrong? There's an S and an H in that one. Lightness equals zero. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this. Shiny works. Quiet. Wait, W E I R D. This could be it. Likeness equals one. I don't understand this. It can't be anything with a G H O S or T in it, right? That's how that would work. this. Alright, let's try a vault. I'm just gonna just vault. Likeness equals one. I really don't understand. Likeness equals one. So one of those letters is in the password, right? any other options. Quiet has a T. I'm just going to guess. I'm going to go with hopes. Um, no, it can't be hopes. It can't be hopes. Quiet. I'll try quiet. Uh, entry denied. Yeah, it wasn't that one. So I don't know. It will reset after 10 seconds. Oh, okay, so I can try again. Oh, 
Oh, I can also just do this. Press the bob button with the left stick. Use right stick to turn the screwdriver. If the spot you've chosen is correct, the lock will rotate and open. If the lock is just, release right stick and use all this reposition. Take a fusion Show your base. I dare you. Likeness equals three. A Y S. Likeness equals zero. So, it can't have S, P, R, A, or Y, right? So the th but that doesn't make sense, because how can likeness 3 for plays exist anywhere else? It has to have P, L, and A, Y, or S. That has to be the case. I don't understand the likeness thing. This doesn't make sense to me. I think I just got idiot savant. <laughs> Who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe. Minuteman. Minuteman. Nope. So now I'm traveling backward in time. Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference, and I did. But <sighs> things fell apart. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Who are these people? Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. 
Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up oh, and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell them. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Power armor? What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger. Tougher, resistant to rads, and get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. I already Look, got it. <laughs> I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right, let's do this. Careful, kid. There's something coming. And it's, it's angry. Okay. Up here. Boss! We got somebody up here! I think I got something over here. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my board. I give you that. Come on, I got places to be. Can I jump? Oh, that's crazy.
that's the death claw. No, these were not in the show. Oh my god, this thing's gonna take forever to kill. I fell down a hole. Jump. That's pretty cool. What the hell is a death claw though? Like, I understand we live in a world where like bombs dropped and people have changed because of radiation. What the hell are these demons? Oh, the HUD should disappear. That looks terrible. If I go to third person, that should disappear. Alright, well, whatever. How do we get out of this thing? Okay. Very interesting. Pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Fusion cell 50, bottle caps 100. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? 
You need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. A great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Diamond City? What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly turn on, out any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy... You got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Whoa, what do I sell this mini gun? <laughs> Holy shit. Hold on to that power armor now. Hate to see it go to rust. I'm sure Preston can handle anything we find until we reach Sanctuary. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. Excuse right me. Right behind you, Sounds boss. Like you better get going to Diamond City. people to sanctuary do I just take this armor with me I'm wondering should I put this up in that garage place I was where is that garage place I was I don't remember probably up here that's that that's oh, I, can, I can just fast travel does it bring the armor with me So there seems to be a day-night cycle and weather effects, which is cool. Okay, so that's where my armor stays, I guess.
I still don't quite understand what we're doing with this stuff. Turrets? I need concrete for that. Look who it is. Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. I'm just gonna follow you. Let's put some music on, shall we? to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. Decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Mama Murphy? So, do you believe in these visions she has? I didn't used to. But how did she know about this place? I think she has some kind of a gift. Best not to ignore it. I mean, look at this place. I really think this could be what we've been looking for. I don't know. It's strange being back here. What do you mean? You used to live here or something? Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it just woke up a little while ago damn like one of those old pre-war ghouls you say you were frozen anybody else make it out with you Who doesn't love Blue Jordan? my son somebody took him while I was still trapped have you run across anybody with a baby boy damn I'm sorry but no I haven't run across any kidnapped babies I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? What kind of help? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm... Uh, all right, I leveled up. Travis. I've reached level four. Here's the, uh, ah, it's, it's 
So it looks like I'm bringing people back to where I used to live, and this is going to be like a town that I upgrade or something? Maybe? Is that how this works? I don't want to set the world on fire. Let's uh, level up, right? We got a. Oh, what? I have a flashlight? Hold on. What the hell? Oh, shit. Minus minus twenty. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you want. And with your admission that you feel the same. Where should I put these bags? I have reached the goal I'm dreaming of being. Oh man. I don't set the world. I just want to trade a few things. What? I don't want to set the world on fire, honey. You call this place sanctuary? Cemetery seems a little more appropriate. <clears throat> Need something? Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Way down inside of me, darling, I have only one desire, and that one desire is you. Okay, let's see. Armorer, protect yourself from the dangers of the wasteland with access to base level and rank one armor mods. I'm gonna do that one. I don't know if this is right. <laughs> Are you getting along? Rain like that soon. Just fine. It is nice to finally settle down after spending so much time moving around. Oh, yeah? You spent a little time on the run when you were younger? Oh, yes, you have. Good advice. Sounds like quite the adventure. It was. Someday, I'll tell you all about it. You willing to do some work? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these okay. old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Build sheltered beds for sanctuary settlers. All right, let me sanctuary let me take these beds down. Let's build these. 
Oh, duh, they can't sleep outside, dude. Deathlon conquered. Bad news, huh, Mom? You ever seen one of those suckers before? There's really not a lot of room. Place this, please. Alright, it's not letting me place it. You just heard crawl out through the fallout. Um, 
Is there a way I could take apart? The armor I've picked up. Weapons workbench workshop. That's this. Be some cloth somewhere. There you go. Alright, there's beds for everybody. They were naughty. I was by your house last night, and guess what? You were tied to this place. Your grandma was playing the numbers. Were you just finding that out? What? We found out. Yes, we did. We found out. Now we know. Ma'am. You were tied to this place, kid. Your energy. My energy? What do you mean? Thought I told you before, kid. I saw you leave that icebox. I know your pain. This world, it's not yours. But here you are. The sight can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fill the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Uh, I do have some. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid.
There's a weapons workbench. Is there like an armor workbench? Here, maybe I can make it. Yes. I need four more aluminum. Should have been aluminum. Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, it's me, Travis. Anyway, here's, uh, hold please. This is Billie Holiday, and, uh, she's singing, hold please, hold please. Easy living, Billie Holiday. all the stuff I just picked up from all the boxes. And there is encumbrance. <laughs> okay. down all the all the junk is that a thing I could do I just need to trade gear with you. Some days are harder than others. But even the hard days get easier than the one before. Yeah. 
We can scrap it. Oh boy, okay. All right, we're cleaning the town up. I don't know if I found enough aluminum. Bye, Sean's crib. I need the materials. We're rebuilding society here. I don't have time to get hung up on things that happened 200 years ago.
Butcher Pete. Just, well, just doing butcher sorts of things, I guess. <laughs> uh, if anyone's family has recently been butchered, I am sorry for what I just said. Uh, okay, that was Roy Brown. Here's a thing. A, a sort of a uh, note. Warp Zoo is a settlement. Um, Need your help. From a sponsor here in Diamond City. And I'll, um... For a drink at the dugout inn. The stories are free, but the moonshine will cost you. Ask for Vadim Bobrov. Benny Hutton is on now. Singing about a man? Right? Huh. That's so stupid! That's, Benny Hutton. That's what this one is. Girls! Girls! Watch out! Watch out! There's a two legged animal running about. If it smokes a great big cigar and it hangs around at a bar, if it tells the biggest lies, where's the lies? It's a man. If it acts just like a cross patch, has a face with whiskers and scratch, if it's stubborn and oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Uh. It's a man. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. 
been told your inner more is worth more than gold. Oh, my cad, I bought me a Jeep. I got that book. Okay, can I move this station? Oh, you need to be ro uh, rank two to craft it in local leader, which I don't have. Yeah, so I can't build any of this stuff. Power armor station, weapon workbench. Uh, I want to be able to t take apart all the armor I've picked up, though. That's the problem. That was uh, Uranium Fever by... Oh, man. Uh, by, uh, by Elton Britt. <laughs> yes. Right. Just so. Right there. Coming to you from... Uh... of the Commonwealth. It's Diamond City Radio. Next is uh, One More Tomorrow by Frankie Carl. It's, well, it's nice. It's happy, I guess, but I mean, that's okay. I only have one nuclear material. I don't want to waste that, just in case. Is it, do we do anything with this? Can I tear this down? I'm going to just deconstruct it. So much crap in that.
scavenging, ca scavenging station. What does this do? Gather 1,000 resources used for crafting. <laughs> I've barely have been playing. Let's uh, store all junk. That's the only way to get food? I can make a death claw steak, grilled rad roach. Cook all this, right? Fuck it. I need bottle caps to build that. Okay. This is interesting. Armor workbench required rank two, so I can't do that yet. Let's, I want to split the beds up into different houses. You know what I mean? I put all the beds in this one house. And I don't like that. I want to have them... They each get their own house. I'm just going to... Mm, move it manually, yeah. One bed per house. We'll start over here. Oh, that's your house.
Bob Crosby this time, not Bing. In case, well, in case you got confused, I sometimes do. Not a lot of Bing. Here's a thing, a, a sort of a note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll. Um, Read it. <laughs> Diamond City Surplus, now open 24 hours a day. Management reserves the right to refuse service to anyone, especially since. Now I'll play Ella Fitzgerald. I got this. Enjoy. That's enough beds for everybody. Chairs, containers. Oh my god, why is it, I wish it would like let me look better at what I'm doing. Bobblehead stand, I need fiberglass for, counter. Television requires power and circuitry, which I do not have. Come on, I gotta put a toilet here for these people. All right. Look 
through a magazine the missionary's wife concealed. Magazine? What happened? Terminal. Lightbox, power speakers. You know, you can get hurt that way, don't you? A recruitment radio beacon. Hmm. Don't want no penthouse, bathtub, street cars, taxis, noise in my ear. So no matter how they coax him, I'll stay right here. They hurry like savages to get aboard an iron train. And though it's smoker and it's crowded, they're too civilized to complain. Okay, connectors. Oh, I don't know how any of this works. <laughs> Okay, but wh how do I connect wiring? Like, is that okay? Wait. All right, we got a generator. And I guess that does an area of effect to the to the fan here, like it's just on. I also could have made this large, this medium generator. Oh, what? Now, wait a minute. That'd be all my aluminum. Maybe I should not do that, yeah. Let's hold off on that. We got this small generator. We don't need power yet. I just want to trade a few things. Come on over, baby. I hope you find your son. So, um, <clears throat> this is...
this radio station here. We we don't really make any caps, and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, like this, power noodles. Our chef only says one sentence, but that's gas okay mask with goggles. He only serves one thing. So this is uh, Billy Holiday singing. Crazy, he calls me this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I say I'll move the mountains and I'll move the mountains if he wants them out of the way. Crazy calls me. Sure I'm crazy. Crazy in love, I say. I just want to see what this stuff looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. Good lord. Okay, so this is a whole outfit, but if I do this, it would take this off? Yeah. Actually, the Vault 111 outfit seems to have the higher stats. Alright, we've cleaned up the town a bit. I want to look at my objectives. the 
Is there anything else that I want to build before I go anywhere? Like it says, they it says their food and water is low, but I don't know how to. A signer worker to the resource. Apparently I just hit level 5. <laughs> build this. Huh. Water purifier. Okay. We'll put one of these outside each house, I guess. To build this, and I also have enough power. But it's just not letting me place it for something. For some reason. Um.
I'm wondering if maybe it needs to be near a water source. It's a purifier. Oh, see, like, there's missing icons. That is what is... Fuck. I don't like that this does not have a snap thing, and it's also very tedious to, to place. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like the building system here. A lot of different options. I see the appeal there. When your defense value is too low, the chance for attacks on your settlement increases. You should try to keep your defense value at least as high as the sum of your food and water production. Uh oh. I have enough for a machine gun turret. Gun, uh, I don't have that. Spotlight. I don't know if I clean this house out now. Well, let me try that water source thing. Structure, furniture, decoration, power, defense, resources. Water. Water purifier. Ah, see? Crazy, but he's cute. Why do I love a guy I ought to shoot? 
in working order. All right, we got water. You can fix the fences. Huh. melons all over here. Alright, so wait. I want to grow more melons. So I want to... Look, resources, food, melons. And I have two more. Okay, 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 okay. It doesn't... I don't like how the placement works. It's very annoying and tedious. are starting to farm now a little bit. I I didn't know there was food in the back there. We got real lucky with that. Is there any other food anywhere? Hi, I really appreciate 
you helping us out here. This place is really starting to come together. Codsworth. Sir, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. How were things here while I was gone? Oh, just catching up on old yard work. Some occasional pest control. And you, sir? Anything to be found in Tonka? Maybe. We'll see. We certainly shall. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Would you like to? As you wish, sir. Hmm. What is he for trade? I'd like to trade some items. Of course. He doesn't have anything. All right. Hey, <laughs> excuse me. I'm allergic to robots. Hey, Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. What do you mean? Like a well. Then we don't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. <laughs> well, I did this before I even got the mission. <laughs> hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. That's where I'm stuck. If we're going to settle here. We need to get some crops established. What kind of crops are you looking for? Well, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Okay, I need to look for food. Food is in the red and defense is in the red. I can't do any of the crafting. I have power and everything else, I think. And the only resources they give me options for is literally just for food is farms. I need to find some of these other stuff in order to grow that. I'm gonna bring this TV up there, hook it up to the power. It just says, please stand by. Okay, I'm starting to see the appeal of this game. I'm like, oh, I'm getting all these ideas. The music's great.
A fishing rod. I'll take that. Should I head out? Yeah, let's 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 go out into the wasteland. Oh wait, uh, wait, hold on. Something I want to do. When I break down stuff, I notice it sends it sends items to the workbench. So I want to go check the workbench. I don't know how to assign people to things yet. What is this bench? Oh my god, I have an armor workbench. Oh my god. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. Anyway, here's Uranium Rock, a song about people getting rich by finding uranium. <laughs> that, uh, that worked out real well for all of us, didn't it? I'm joking, just joking, it went poorly. I wish I could move this. Alright, anyway, I wanted to look at this. Everything you're not using, scrap it. Insulated lining. Hell yeah, let's put that in our jumpsuit. Alright, but you can't craft new armor at the armor workbench, is my question.
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm definitely getting a copyright strike today. Okay, take all, and then store all junk, right? I kind of want to do this mysterious stranger thing just to see what happens. Who is he? Why does he help? Who cares? The mysterious stranger will appear occasionally in that slender hand with deadly efficiency. Mysterious stranger. I'll be back town that I've worked very hard on now. Don't understand how this works. an eye out for food to bring back home. That was a moose with do two heads. Okay. Glowing fungus.
check the houses. I don't think the woods are safe. sort of a note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. The Colonial Tap House wants to remind everyone that you are not welcome there. Upper stands residents only. Now I'll play Ella Fitzgerald. I got this. Enjoy. Of our satellite station. Shit. <coughs> the fuck just happened? There's like soldiers here. Jesus. Is that how it works? Is he wearing a red bandana now? No. Damn. 
An armor workbench. dog well, what the hell is the dog okay look alive level hacker perk needs to unlock that. Okay. Purified water? Just missed. Okay, that is kind of fun to do. Oh, shit. Insanely difficult. It loads the save. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to come in here. I'm gonna leave this place full of crazy raiders with miniguns and all kinds of nonsense. I shot that bitch right in the face and it did nothing. Look, mysterious stranger. There he is. <laughs> what the hell is that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Mysterious Stranger. Kind of glad I picked up that perk. Settlement. This is more like a shack in the middle of nowhere. Excuse me. Sorry to wake you up in your shack in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> what do you want? We don't need any more trouble around. Winoni Harris. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. Is there something you need my help with? Oh, yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Okay. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? We'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not going to change overnight. And now, uh, hmm. For several from our sponsors. Commonwealth Weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Now here's Connie Allen with a song that's about <laughs> space travel. <laughs> okay. Here's Rocket 69. Oh, I see. I need action point. Okay, I'm still learning this. I see, it's like your stamina. There's someone here. What the hell? Excuse me, uh, sir. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? Sorry, I don't. It's all right. I'm sure I can find it on my own. Thank you. Hey there. I need to get to Bunker Hill. I need to get. Was that yellow Hill. option to rob him? I don't want to rob him. We are running out of ammo.
That's a crazy looking locomotive. That's one loco locomotive. <laughs> Wild carrots. Oh, that's good. It says carrot flower. Can we plant carrot flowers and it grows carrots? Or crispy squirrel bits. What's in Sulcum Joe's basement? Why is it a separate instance? Uh-oh. isn't functioning. Hey, another red rocket. That was the five stars. All, all five of them. <laughs> Get it? Because it's about uh, twenty. Ah, uh, sort of. No. No. Okay. Not really. You're listening. 
listening to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio, if if you're listening at all. When someone named Big Maybell says there's a whole lot of shaking going on, oh, you can probably believe it. I mean, it's fair. It's fair to say that's that's probably accurate. She's she's tremulous. When a one comes on a whole face on, somebody beating on a ding dong. Guns, we're running the other way. Ooh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Nice. Okay. Not a bad gun. Still new, I'm still new. It was a turret. Where are they shooting me from? God damn it. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I leveled up. Weapon accuracy and vats would help me because I do use it a lot. Overall fitness, charisma, intelligence, agility.
Um, I'm going to put an extra point in perception right now. Breaking in. but I don't see them. Shit, 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 shit. impacts <laughs> go move 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 fuck I think I'm overburdened yeah I am okay uh Take all this shit. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's so many of them, what the hell? That King Cole there, he's just the best, isn't he? Come on! How does that miss, dude?
I don't have a lot of bullets left in that. Okay, how do I get room in my inventory? Inventory apparel. Miscellaneous. Junk. See what this looks like. Still overburdened to shit. Ay, ay, ay.
the hell? It's one of those creepy monkeys. Bayoneted light pipe sniper rifle. Dude, 20 this is weighing this is what's weighing me down. Pipe pistols, we could drop these. How do I break stuff down for raw materials? impacts A machine gun. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Shit, must have scared him off. Locks really strong. Oh, 
Welcome to Rogue Quarters for a caravan. Took down another caravan today. Hell yeah, that makes three in one month. To top it off, Freddy came by with the good news that another caravan is headed our way. Says he spotted some guards, but it's mostly civilians. They even got an old broad dressed like a fortune teller and some joker in a cowboy hat. <clears throat> Gonna ask Jared for more men to take this caravan down. That fucking hat is mine. Database network offline. Database network access is granted to authorized personnel only. Connecting. Just says offline. I can't do anything. Okay. Let's try this. I have a few rounds for it, too. It's a Tommy gun. Fuck, there was a bomb there. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to talk. That's the exit, but am I done here? Still alive. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you are. And with your admission that you feel the same, I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world. Going down. Lower. 
level. Lower level. Going down. Main assembly line. I love this new bus. I just want to stop. A great big plane. Down the This place goes deep. Oh, this is where I was, isn't it? I see. I see now. Jesus. Jesus. Himself on fire. Ain't nothing. Slows time for ten seconds.
I got him. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. My arm's injured. Setting up shop. Gunfire's finally quieted down. Suppose that means either Lonnie and Gristle wiped up the last of the ghouls or they're currently serving someone's meal. But now Lexington is secure. I can finally get to work. Stump. Nothing's working. The old woman, she used to just huff some jet, pop some pills, and then she'd start babbling, spatting some visions after vision. And they all turned out true. The raiders burning the town, killing the parents, stealing the kids, stealing me. I remember the look in her eyes when she saw my fate. Kids, you're going to be a monster. All true. If I could get that sort of power, that sight, the Commonwealth, the other gangs, no one would have a prayer. But nothing's working. Maybe I need to try upping the dosage. I'm going to need another bucket. It's not the chems. They're just a trigger for the sight. It's me. I'm the problem. I wish I'd realized before my arms looked like pincushions. But at least it's a new lead. I need tests. I need subjects. Let's continue. Still no success, but the rumor of free chems has brought plenty of new recruits. Ranks are nearly back up to where they were before we cleaned out Lexington. Lonnie thinks it's a waste of time. Says we need to spend our time building up our defenses. But Lonnie doesn't make decisions. I do. She does seem to be enjoying her new position, though. Maybe another dose of Psycho will get her visions firing. She's here. Gristle says there's a caravan headed this way. Some joker in a cowboy hat with laser musket. Three civilians and one frail old woman dressed like a fortune teller. It's her. I know it's her. I sent Gristle to collect her. I wonder if she'll recognize me. Of course she will. She saw this coming after all. Spotlight control. Standardized spotlight control. BIOS. Uh, let's deactivate the lights. System diagnostics. No intruder detection. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Turret control. You're listening to uh, uh, deactivate. If, if you're listening at all. About defense system. Elton Brit is next with the song. Warranty that, well, information. It sounds very irresponsible for several reasons. Here's uranium fever. Offline air. These were already shut down. I see. I could have like snuck in and maybe like taken out the turrets manually. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so I think they're all dead. Uranium fever has gone and got 
I don't really have a lot of bullets. Okay, I am successful. We can head back. Well, I ain't kidding. I ain't gonna trip that bug done caught me and I've been bit. So with a Geiger counter and a pick in the hand, I'll keep right on staking that government plan. Uranium fever has done and got me down. Uranium fever has spread the all around. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to take me some government land. Uranium fever has done and got me down. Still getting shot at. There we go. <laughs> this is a very different game. All right, I need to go that way. I like this crafting station, this little ju this little cooking rack here. Shit. Damn it, I hurt my foot. <laughs> Sims. Worry, worry, 
While we love the past and live by Worry, 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 I'm so painfully shy Ask the guys, get all the kisses I am not the one who misses Worry, 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 woe is me Baby, 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 I'm a fool about love Maybe, maybe I should go to school about love When it comes to getting chummy I'm a kid, I'm quite a dummy Worry, 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 woe is me Stems. That song was, it was, uh, hold on, it was by Three Sons, and, uh, uh, oh, never mind. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, it's me, Travis. Here's Roy Brown, again, and he's not chopping or being mighty. Well, I mean, maybe he is, but that's just not the focus. What just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I didn't even see it. I wish it was like Helldivers, you could like dive away from stuff. All right, so it's going to be right as I exited the building. Okay. The fuck? Oh no. I'm about to die. Come on. to go down.
The hell was that? I said we get the hell out of Dodge while we still can. A machete. Hold on now. Into each life, uh, uh, rain must fall. I think that was that was Ella Fitzgerald confirming that thought. So uh, there's a bit of uh, news. Well, more of a you know uh, a rumor, really. Someone, uh, I'm not sure who, I guess. I mean, probably doesn't matter who. Anyway, someone saw, well, I guess they think, uh, maybe they saw a person in a, uh, a vault suit. That's me. I mean, coming out of vault 111. It's the vault 111 part that's weird, I guess, right? I mean, it's not, it's not like no one's ever seen a vault suit. Cat mine. You like, you may wish you like for me unless you like my own body will 
Okay, that's what killed me. God damn it. <laughs> That's one that one's way better. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Okay. That looks more lore accurate for a vault, you know, someone who came from the vault. Now, can I put on armor? fungus.
More carrots, that's what we need to find, hell yeah. Took care of them. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. Nice. If we want things to get better. We've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Seems to be growing well. It's Peter Davis, a name I still find confusing. What the hell's that? To death with it. Warren Smith has a song about digging Something just uranium. exploded somewhere. I guess a thing people did back then for fun. Uh, I don't get it. A super mutant. What just happened? Got him. Super mutants orders rounds. Someone who wants to do some trading. What are you doing out here? People want something. Smiling and Larry finds it, brings it to him. The whole Commonwealth knows me. Now, what about doing some trading? Let's trade. If Smiling and Larry hasn't got it, you probably don't need it. <gasps> Ammo. And I can sell to him? Oh my god.
That's worth 38, this death claw meat. I'll sell that. Yeah, we're the super mutants orders. Oh shit, did that not, like, go through? Damn it! Hi, you looking to trade? Uh, you got what you want. That is trade? annoying. Smiling Larry has what you need, guaranteed. Okay.
a sort of uh, note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City. And I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll just read it. <laughs> Swatters. Own a piece of Diamond City history and then beat people to death with it. Right behind your baby. It's a really upbeat song, but uh, I don't know. I uh, I feel like maybe Ray Smith was a little maybe. Okay. Except yes. Okay, good. We've come. We've done our trade. Okay, that'll work. It's got a lot of ammo is the reason I want to use it. I need to get stims. That's what I need to get. people here looking to earn some cats I could use a hand here if you're all done talking you know ask for money I could probably help for a few caps extra just had to push didn't you 50 caps take it or leave it help you with what exactly I'm trying to fix this old water pump should be plenty of scrap in here if I can get it drained out no what are you really up to here like I said, for scrap. Mind your own business. You helping or not? What do you need help with? Now, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. I don't want to go into any water. Oh boy, isn't this stuff radioactive? I don't like this.
Why is this so deep? Fuck this. Nah, bro. <laughs> My thalassophobia just fucking kicked in. Don't drink the water. Oh my god, I'm trying to jump. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. Which, wait, what switch? How do we kill these things?
Oh, isn't there a way I can fast travel? Hold on. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, real quick, I'm gonna run and grab oh, some water from the kitchen. I'll be right back. Just gotta grab a drink, and then we're gonna continue streaming. And that was Frankie Carl there. Well, I mean, I guess that was actually Marjorie who was doing the singing, but uh, uh, never mind. And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. Stop in for a drink at the Dugout Inn. The stories are free, but the moonshine will cost you. Ask for Vadim Bobrov. If anyone is, uh, is listening, no, in fact, even if you're not, this is the ink spot. I don't want to set the world. All ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. Um, food. And that one desire is you. And I know nobody else ain't gonna do it. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your ambition.
Like, why can't I place that there? I... This is one of those games where it's like, yeah, you can't just put things where you want. It's gonna have to look ridiculous and terrible. Your OCD is not gonna enjoy this. Ugh, God damn it. Like, what the hell? Alright. That is ridiculous. Alright, either way, we got enough food now. Water, power. The only thing we don't have is defense. And I don't know how to do that. Now we have defenses. An auto turret. A lot of shaking. Whole lot of it. Yep. That was a uh, big Maybell. You're listening to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If if you're listening at all. Benny Hutton is on now. Singing about a man, right? Great big. 
Where's the guy I gotta talk to? Oh, there he is. You ask me. Freedom's always worth fighting for. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds, but that's not gonna be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. General? Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is 
There's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before okay. you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Okay. We have a new mission. Pop. This has got some rounds. Oh, these guns look crazy. Mm. Okay. I'm heading out. to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio, if if you're listening at all. And this next song, it's, well, I mean, it's... Uh, so this counts as a bass, too. Man, and, uh, whoa, boy! <laughs> I just... Uh, <laughs> I can level up again? Alright, I'm just gonna put one more point in each thing, so strength gets one now.
chill for a second. Abernathy Farm. I'm not trying to steal nothing. people here. It's one of those stupid crabs. I completely missed that. He's a big boy. <laughs> I don't want to risk that.
mysterious stranger. I'm gonna beat this game because of this guy. This is where I was supposed to go. Chemistry station. Crippling switchblade. Legendary radroach, what is that? 
Carol Go Reaver fancy hairbrush. Whoops, I didn't need to do that. I could have just melee. Yeah.
Sunshine Tank. Alright, hold on. I gotta take a phone call real quick. All right, sorry about that. Let's see if we can't figure out how to hack these things. Password required. All right, you let's see farms. Likeness three, so there's from what I understand, how it works is there's three letters that are in the password that are in that word, right? Like this one. That's it. Faces. I don't know how I got it. I that was a complete guess. Standard Mr. Handy control interface. Mr. Handy control. All right, let's look at the log. Alan, we finally sprung a slave from the square for our freedom farm co-op. And Mr. Handy from the Nottaville suburbs. The tin can wigged out trying to go back to his slave owners. Almost clued the fuzz onto us. So Johnny noodled it out and zonked his motivation protocols to just be. Now we call him Professor Goodfeels. <laughs> Just digging the world as it be, owing nothing to nobody. Careful with his other protocols. These can, these cans, knuckle creeps if they go ape. Jack. Trying to control. Choose protocols. Just for you, guard protocols. I'm I'm afraid if I put guard protocols, he'll attack me. What if I return to for maintenance protocols? Hester's Consumer Robotics. Okay, so that controlled the robot? This robot? Should I follow him? He's returning somewhere for maintenance. We'll let him go. 
I have work to do here. I think we can summon him back. Hub flower. Build and activate recruitment radio beacon. Okay. We want that on. Did I do it right? Talk to Preston Garvey. Yeah, we got to go back. Can fast travel. Okay. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Oh, feels good. It's a little run down, but we can make something of it eventually. Warp Soma. Hey Joker, how are you enjoying the Wasteland? Have you watched any of the show? I am actually playing this game because I watched the show. I never played uh, Fallout, any of the Fallout games before. I watched the show and I really liked it, and I decided I wanted to play Fallout. And thus far, I am enjoying this for the most part. I do have a little... I have some complaints, but it's outweighed by the fun I'm having. Stay definitely. sharp. Don't let your guard down. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. We'll find out what we need. Settlements according to the calls. I leveled up again. Last time I did strength. Hold on. Five, five, four. So endurance I'll do next. At least it's not raining.
Warp Sumo says 76. I have that one as well. I haven't played it yet. I heard that one's like an MMO. Um, if I have people to play with, I might be inclined to check that out. See how it is. Go to Diamond City. Oh, it's far. It is out there. We might as well go to that one. All right. I shall return. stuff respawn? No. Okay. Let's put the radio on. Recruitment radio beacon. Huh? I don't hear anything. Danny K there. Sing. Uh, that was civilization. says one sentence, but that's okay because he only serves one thing. Up next, call out through the fallout. That's just the name of the song. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not recommending it as a course of uh, uh, scientifically recommended action. Crawl out through the fallout, <coughs> baby. Please. Do you have any right away? Uh, I think I might be dying. Uh, yes, I do. Sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You just saved my life. <clears throat> I'm just gonna stay here a bit to regain my strength.
<laughs> Chemistry station. Bunch of mini nuke parts. Perfect. You've collected an issue of Wasteland Survival Guide. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. Okay. Alright, I am not good at these. Christian says, oh, fun game or no? I'm enjoying it, but I don't know if it's for everybody. It's okay. All right, well, of course I'm going to try Bank first. Like Nasira, okay. Uh. Both? Got it. Oh my God, that's crazy. Statement of intent. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free-thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly by as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun construction on an incendiary device. If you are reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. The news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all true patriots know what I, know that what I do, I do of my own free will and do and for the good of my country. Okay. So he was building this mini nuke in here. That's cool. Fungus. All right, I just got radiated. It's got a bolt. I have a bolt action. I might want to try that. We can scrap that. That was my original gun, but we got a better one.
way down inside of me. Darling, I have only one desire. And that one desire is you. And I know nobody else ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Alright, we're I gotta continue on my journey here. I'm going this way. I missed. going on oh my god there's like a radioactive storm going on yeah when I'm inside it's not happening look oh fuck oh no Looks like it passed. I want to tell him, drop dead, but I keep loving him instead. My mama must have dropped me on my. <laughs> what you got? Oh, shit. Watch the show like I did, you know better than going into water. Demon. He is a devil. 
Been a while since I played this one, but I vaguely remember not all that water is all that bad. <laughs> I just don't trust it. I don't want any giant axolotls with fingers for mouths and their mouths coming out and killing me. Still radioactive, but not very. Well, thank you, uh, Flax, uh, <laughs> Flax, Lax, Flax Axon? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. I'm going to call you Flax. Thank you, Flax. Flax with some facts. Ray Garden Homestead. What is this? Oh shit. Why does my heart go on beating? Mm, I don't know if I like this. Too difficult to open. Okay, I probably can't even do this. across
Hey there. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. Okay, where's that? There's Diamond City. There. Sponsors. Feeling tired? Need a pick me up? Need a pick me up? Visit Chemicare and get a prescription today. A balanced life through chemistry. Adam Bomb Baby is next. That's uh, five and five stars. In case you were wondering and didn't already know because I've played it before. Not like her anywhere you go A man she's anything but calm A regular pint size Adam Bomb Adam Bomb, baby Adam Bomb I want her in my wigwam She's just the way I want her to be A million times hotter than she is she Here, a lot of gunfire over there. Oh, no, no. 
the top of Trinity Tower. The poor dog. No sign of him now. That's what I'm worried about. We'll still eat him starving. You can eat when I'm damn sure we're not about to get jumped. Jesus, you always were a fucking hard ass. So do I, Avenger. Thanking me instead of pitching all the time. Now shut up. Get back to your patrol. Don't get your panties in a twist. I'm going. Uh, Yusuf, I see you're still playing. How is it? I'm having a good time. I'm liking it. I'm only average at everything. <laughs> it's a teddy bear reading newspaper in here. That's funny. Why would I take a ribcage? This is bullshit.
I have an idea. Let's see, see if we can't like sneak, get the headshots on him. This is gonna be fun. Oh. You're mine now, rookie. Stabbed in the dick. way I could pick this. Damn. Skull eye socket. Got it. in that room. Oh, I'm successful. Okay. Let's go to Diamond City.
there. This is gonna be fun. There's a raider. <laughs> Can I talk to them? Excuse me. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Thank you. You got one of those fancy volt suits. Those one size fits all. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around. I'm standing out in the open here crying out loud. Is this supposed to be Fenway Park? I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> Sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, what? Who are you? What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? 
You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City, what is it? Oh, the Green Jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. The movies they have got to pay many coconuts to see. What do they see, Donnie? Uncivilized pictures of the new film. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Hmm. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I... I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? Just looking for something. Oh, um, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well. I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for uh... any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> This is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons? I've had up? enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. <laughs> mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Officer? Head on inside. Diamond City. Finally made it. Oh. 
hoping I can buy ammo here. <laughs> Hi there. For your paper to newcomers, if the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? What's Diamond City have to offer? A bunch of stores that yell at you if you touch anything. Hmm. And a mayor that yells at you if you say anything. So it's kind of a do nothing, say nothing place. So what brought you here anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scabber in the colony. So what are you looking for, huh? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Mm, you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, nice. Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's going to help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Piper, you're back! What is happening to the camera? Hey, kiddo. <laughs> oh boy. How are the paper sales? I'm inside. The camera's inside the presses me. Presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks, and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper. <gasps> Hey, Read Nat. the paper, mister. Trust me. Watch your back. Institute could be right behind you. <laughs> Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. her hair myself and I know human hair that's just it Johnny you wouldn't be able to tell the difference officer Nick McDonough you with your razor he bleed Damn. don't mean nothing hmm don't let the stress of life kill you relax Sonny she must go up do yourself a favor and just say yes what are you saying it's Sonny, all she he understands yes <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? The latest hairstyle from the upper stand. Let's see. Commonwealth weaponry. Hubbard prayed for all Diamond City right here. Hey, you're the new guy, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. 
Let's see what you got. Everything hand tool. Thank God. Um, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. Synth. So are you human? Synth? What's a synth? A synth, as in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes look real with hair and sweat and blood and everything. Really? So are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. Everything you need. He also sells ammo. <sighs> Ooh. 1,180 for that. Damn. I can buy stims? <gasps> oh my god. Uh, let's just sell a bunch of whatever. I have things. I know I have things to sell. Look at all this. Yellow fedora I don't need. The synthetic truth.
Those are expensive. I am not a fan of that. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. Did you say All something about drugs? Items you need to fill out your lifestyle, <laughs> balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking rad X or rad away. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. You strong arming me? That ain't cool. 100 caps, that's all you get. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Solomon. Got chems right here for you, brother. Sure, let's take a look. Every chem for every need. This is all junk? Alright, whatever. Legitimate medical concern, or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. I need some supplies, Doctor. All right, but go easy on the chems. I'd like to have that so I could plant it. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. Everyone knows anyone with public appearances. Hey, scabber. John. Hey there. I got an empty chair here just waiting for some beautiful customer to get a haircut. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. I'll think about it. Feel free to come back anytime. Hey there. You there. Talk some sense into my net with son. McDonough's secretary, is she a synth? What? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes? Looks and acts just like the real thing? Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does, all perky. So she's a synth, right? She has to be. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh my god, really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the ones who kidnap people. 
replace them with synths? Not that Magdana would ever admit it. Papers write about him. Are you gonna answer my question? Geneva, is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said that no one could tell the difference, Ma. He don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Yeah, maybe we shave off all your hair. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Unless that's what you want, of course. Customer's always right. Sure, you're gonna look great. Sit down. I think you would look great with just a quick trim. All right, we're looking a little bit better now. Okay, that's the newspaper check. Hey, I'd rather be on this side. Uh, Polly. Fresh meat right here. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes. We get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. I've got a few minutes to browse. As fresh as it can be. Corn. Iguana on a stick. <laughs> I saw that in the TV show. I can't believe you eat that. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the bulls. You just gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. 
Something His ties. Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. The Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Is he the mysterious stranger who's been helping me? All right, I leveled up. Strength's five, perception's five, endurance is five. Charisma is four. Let's up that. So I stop failing these persuasions. Intelligence will be next. There's a lot of stuff to do. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Awesome, thank you. Hello, sir. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, 
I've got something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating. With Reach all level ten. Stuff. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. Oh, I think dude. It's time to retake the castle. I got a triple. Used to be the Minute Man HQ, way before my time. I got a triple well XP on that. Local. That's why I just and leveled up. It has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. What? A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle, and I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? So what happened to this castle if it was so well? This was long. So sure. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. How do I scrap regular items? Is there not a way? Oh, my game crash. Wah, wah. All right, I'll restart it real quick. Sorry about that. Seven hours and no crash. It's not bad. <laughs> Ten though. Oh shit. Hold on. All right, hold on. I think it. I hit level ten right after a fast travel, but now I might not get the triple. Oh my god. It might not happen. That's a luck thing. Yeah, I did this and then I fast traveled. Yeah. See. All right, we're going to try. What's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Threaten? Diamond City? Where's that? Directions. Hm, figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the great green jewel. Oh, she's a traitor. Carla. Need to pick something up? It's pretty long from here. 
What kind of stuff do you have? Just a bit of everything. You'd be surprised what people leave behind on the old roads. Gotta keep your eyes peeled for good stuff. Got plenty to sell if you're interested. What is happening? <laughs> Let's see what you have. Here's what I got. Quite a lot. Armor piercing automatic pistol. She has some uh, decent armor on her. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Ready? Sure. Let's take a look. Here's what I got. Codsworth. Shall I, Shall I accompany you, sir? Yes, of course. Lead the way, sir. Not to worry there, pup. Your master is in good hands. He'll be better at killing. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're it work. communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle. And I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? 
Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. All this fuss over a detective. I do hope Mr. Valentine is worth it, but then again, anything is worth the risk when it comes to finding young Sean. Mutt fruit. And that's everything. God damn, that's far. Alright, let's level up and then fast travel to Diamond City. Five, 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 four. Intelligence needs to rank up. Affects the number of experience points earned. Ooh, I should be leveling up my intelligence more. So I get more XP. Is there a level cap? So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization. Heading this way. Keep moving, Scatter. Help or mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm sending this to repeat. 
Ah, oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help, or Mayday, or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm sending this to repeat. Ah, oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help, or Mayday, or whatever it is one says on a radio. Hell yeah, get him, dude. You can trust me. No sign of him now. Oh shit! Wait, oh. Shit. <laughs> Come back here. I need that. everywhere.
super mutant. Anything useful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mysterious stranger. This is why I do this. <laughs> it's so worth it. I read all the skills, and I was like, that one sounds like it would benefit me the most. And I was right. A hunting rifle. Mysterious stranger. Maybe that's the detective. Meat bag. Did I not buy ammunition? Where's all my ammo? trouble.
Mysterious stranger! Thank you. Oh shit, I almost fell down an elevator shaft. Stems. What is it? Hey! You just appear! No fair! I don't understand. I don't see a button in here to push. Ah, never stop. 
Where's the pin? Okay. That was not there. How can I help you, sir? Your thoughts? I met an atheist who worked for a charity the other day. She said it was a non-profit organization. That was all I had. No, yeah, this is where we started. Hold on, we're supposed to go in here. I'm so confused. I think we're supposed to go up. This is still highlighted. Here we go. Thoughts? Only the anxiety of what future adventures await. That was all I had. Try and mysterious stranger my way through this whole freaking game. Fallout 76 here for playing playing. I, I, I'll check it out if you want to play, man. Yeah. I, I'm down.
Come on, mysterious stranger, please. Yes! Yo, perfect timing. I am so glad I decided to pick that perk. That is the only reason I have lived as long as I have. <laughs> God, I got no bullets. anywhere near that gun. Holy shit. This is what death looks like. <laughs> well, he certainly doesn't need that anymore. Hey. Let's try this again. And pretty, pretty much I'm just going to try and farm that stranger. Because that seems to be the most efficient way to kill these giant things. <laughs> My bullets don't seem to do the trick. Go down. Oh, 
God damn it. That's tough. Come on. There you go. Come on, hit him in the head. This is where I died last time. I just want to get the mysterious stranger to spawn, possibly. Run. Jesus. Holy crap. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Almost killed me. Shit, I'm in trouble. Fucker. Give me this fucking thing.
Where'd he go? What's that? I'll take that. I need to go to stems again. I have, I have no stems. Where's this guy I'm supposed to rescue? Wait, come back. Don't leave me here. Hollow Strong. He knows the best way down off of this cursed tower. Go to lift. Go fast, humans. Permanently gain plus 25% critical damage with melee weapons. Okay.
What is this? Execute critical? So that whole thing, the whole thing, the thing, that's a number of the I thought I could civilize these savages by teaching to them. Strong here believes it is the secret to human power. No fight, he said. He wants us to help him find it. Is the wisest course. What is this guy on about? Stranger! Let's go! I love that man. Serious stranger.
Rex. <clears throat> Many thanks for that timely rescue. What were you doing up there? I was attempting to teach those super mutants human culture, trying to civilize them. I thought if they could just experience the majesty of Shakespeare, it would change them forever. And who better to open their eyes to the wonders of the Bard than Rex Goodman, <coughs> foremost actor in the world today? Yes, well, <clears throat> in any event, I'm quite grateful. I'd like you to have this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time I left this awful place. I'm returning to WRVR and resuming my career in radio. Go find milk of human kindness with Strong. He can be my companion? Why do you want to find this milk of human kindness? Milk is secret to humans. Macbeth say milk makes humans strong. Stronger than super mutants. Strong find milk, drink milk. Make super mutants stronger than humans. Yes, I'll honor my promise. Good. Strong travel with human. Human helps strong find milk of human kindness. Strong learn secret of humans. Well, he's a brutish one. Shall I lube the old joints while you're away? Robot, stop squawking. Strong smash! Oh, you have a gun too? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Come on. We have to go this way. I, I thought I thought they were kind of done for. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, if you ask me. And if it were real, it would be super dangerous. I bet. Next is uh, one more tomorrow by Frankie Carl. Oh. It's well, it's nice. It's a little sappy, I guess. But I mean, that's okay. We'll get him strong. Fun up here, buddy. Sam.
be up over here. Show yourself. Oh, that looks pretty cool now. Come on, Strong, where were you there? God damn it. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, if you ask me. And if it were real, it would be Strong super dangerous. To smash something. Yeah, now I need to go get that stuff again. It's a really upbeat song, but uh, I don't know. I, uh... I feel like maybe Ray Smith was a little... Maybe? Buddy? Damn it. that little Hiding from me? Not even possible.
are so loud and in the way. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me look at all this. About? So much walking. Want to do more fighting? What do you think? Human is like sure. other humans. Smart but weak. Strong stay with human for now. Okay. Light pipe bolt action rifle. Bayoneted. Light pipe bolt action. We still have very far to go, yeah. We have still left. Agility is slow, it's not five. If you're the kind of person who is uh, tired of living in Diamond City, and you maybe want a adventure or something, Yes, you have a new option. The settlement of uh, Sanctuary. Slim. You got that look. Like you Jones found it. Oh, look who it is. Uh, the there. Not right now. Fine. We all are. You know, the whole... What you looking for? Jet? Buffalo? And another news. It, it sounds like maybe the... <laughs> sure. I got all the best stuff. Hype you up or uh, mellow you out. The Minutemen were involved in this. That's the Minutemen. I thought, I thought they were kind of done for. <laughs> Sounds kind of crazy. It's a dead name. And it will reveal it would be super dangerous, I bet. Now I'll, uh, uh well, I guess I'll play some uh, Billy Holiday.
Are you cool? I say I'll care forever. Good day to you. I guess so. I've been desk popping a lot in this game. What's going on over there? <sighs> what the hell just happened? settlement of a uh, sanctuary has, I guess, been founded to the, uh, to the northwest there. Good luck to them with, you know, the whole surviving thing. And in other news, it sounds like maybe the, <laughs> not other news, it's actually the same news. The, um, the Minutemen were involved in this. That's the Minutemen. I, I thought, I thought they were kind of done for. <laughs> Sounds kind of crazy, if you ask me. And if it were real, it would be super dangerous. I bet. Are you a pistol packing mama? If you are, this song is about you. Protect and serve. Lay that pistol down, baby. Pistol packing mama. Lay that pistol down. Drinking beer in a cabaret Was I having fun Till one night she caught me right Now I'm on the run Mama, 
then I'll put that gun away. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, mama. Lay the thing down before it goes off and hurts somebody. Oh, Someone she there. picked up my windshield and she hit me over the head. She cussed and cried and said I'd lie. And she said I was dead. Ah, super mute. Uh, the uh, mysterious stranger. Hell yeah, that's what we're trying to get. What the hell? Where's that guy?
We gotta get across this river. Those things are tough. Fever is on next, and well, uh, I'm pretty sure enough time has gone by that we can talk any more in this subject. Right? Well, I don't know, but I've been told uranium ore is worth more than gold. So, my cab, I bought me a Jeep, I got that book, and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has come and got me down. Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to take me some government land. Uranium fever has come and got me down. Well, I had a talk with the AEC and they brought out some maps that looked good to me. And one showed me a spot he said he knowed. So I straddled my Jeep and headed down the road. I reckon I drove about a hundred miles down a bumpy road out through the wilds. When all of a sudden I bounced to a stop at the foot of a mountain, didn't have no top. Uranium fever has come and got me down. All right, we're here. Hey there. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive. 
Espresso, huh? Its real name is Port Independence, but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Why do we need this place again? The radio tower is the most important part, but with a bit of work, this place could be a really strong outpost. Know what I mean? Maybe. Those walls could definitely use some work. I'll admit, it's seen better days, but the Minutemen have never been afraid of hard work. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I like the draw them out idea. Set up a firing line, and I'll draw them out. Sounds good. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's a lot of fusion cells. All right, Strong, you in for this fight? This might be a tough one. Good place to fight. <clears throat> We've got this, General. <clears throat> Let's do this, General. <clears throat> What's up? Change of plans? No. Stick to the plan. All right. Head out when you're ready, and we'll get in position. Drink some water. Time to smoke. Mysterious street.
What is happening? power. Do I build here? No. My controller died is what's happening. I have been playing for so long that my controller died. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. Dealing with the situation as quickly as I can. I think we took it, unless there's more upstairs. one more nest here.
What the fuck? Myrler Queen. We got fucking problems, bro. Shit, dude. Uh! Oh no. like anything that's about to happen to me. What the fuck, dude? Help me. I'm hoping to spawn the, 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 the guy. Why am I burning? What, what is, why am I taking so much damage? I just stimmed and I'm taking damage. What the fuck? What is going on?
come on, where's my guy? Oh, that sucks, dude. Serious stranger. Did it kill it? It killed it. It killed it. It killed it. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Myrlurks or eggs you find. Once I power this up, Let's we'll be ready to broadcast. Left of the old transmitter. I can't believe we actually managed to take that thing down. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else is left around this old place. Requires 10. So we gotta hit this thing with like crazy amounts. I need 12 aluminum. I 
just want to trade a few things. When I saw that thing coming out of the water, I was sure we were all dead. I need aluminum. <clears throat> Run some power to the transmitter. I could just build a bunch of the little ones, I suppose. Ten power, but it's not. Maybe they can't connect to it directly. Yeah, that can be what's going on. I guess I have to have two separate things. Is that how that works? this up we'll be ready to broadcast I'm so confused right now what do I need to do to get power to this I, it's not letting me attach this wire Okay. That won't let me attach that to that. This is now attached to this. I have no clue if it's powering this. up we'll be ready to broadcast i'm so f confused bro attach wire doesn't let me attach it to that Attached now. How does this fucking work? This is providing five power. This is providing five power. 
On the top of my screen, it says 10 power. This says requires 10 power. It's not doing anything. I've literally attached a conduit to it. I don't know how else to attach. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe it's. Hold on. Okay, it was literally perspective, I see. I'm very used to No Man's Sky, you can kind of just put wires through things. That is my bad. Okay, this should work now. Seems to be in working order. Seems to be in working order. <clears throat> wow, we really did it. I've been watching the Minutemen fall to pieces for so long, I just... Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. We've got to show people the Minutemen can really help them. Mission accomplished. We took the fort. Do I do? Do I need to build beds for them here and shit? It would seem so. No, they have five beds. It says not enough defenses. I can't build that. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Oh, uh, yeah, just I can probably build one of these. Yep. Yeah. Anybody in the vicinity of Grey Garden, please go see what they need there. No, I can't make another generator yet. All right.
Oh shit. Minus 50 rads for mutant oh, hound shops that are cooked. That's pretty good. Use all the water I had, damn. Is there a way I could transfer my items? Let's trade. I think we're really starting to make a difference. This is Seems radio to be in working order. Hmm. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen alerts. Defense zero. Food. All right, hold on. Wait. What about food? Certainly, I have something. Nope. Okay. I could go harvest from the one place and bring it up here. I don't know where I'd plant things. This doesn't really seem like a good place to grow anything. What's the uh, barrier out there? That's got tons of gears in it. I'm gonna fast travel, go pick up food and come back.
Hey, buddy. Hey, boy. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Seems to be growing well. Wait there. Go check that out. What about the carrot? Didn't I have carrots somewhere? It's not grown. Okay. Carrying everything. It is very heavy. You're carrying too much and cannot fast travel. All right, let's level up. Luck, agility, everything's at five. Um, Serious Stranger is awesome. I love that. <laughs> Hacker. Might be something I want. I can do this. I may now randomly receive five X five times XP from any action. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. Idiot Savant is a is a great way to level up quick, I think. Okay, um what do I do about this? Uh, inventory. They call it junk, but some of the stuff you need to build these things, and I'm like, I want to bring stuff for building. It says it's, it's, I need two gears, but I, I have gears on me. I don't understand. I just saw them. Gear, five. But this is saying I don't have any. Gear, zero out of two. I don't understand, like, how do I not have the item? Open 
Give me my Pip Boy, please. I'm pressing B. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't understand that. Here, five. Huh. scanner like how do I break this stuff down for these materials it says like leather four copper ceramic glass how do I break this stuff down to receive these things I don't understand. I, I, this is what's so confusing. I, why is it called junk if I need to use it? And then how come when it's in my inventory, I can't use it? I don't understand this. I have five gears. That is confusing. It just says Super Mutant's orders and there's nothing on it. Hmm, that's confusing. Anyway. I think Nick Valentine is the mysterious stranger. I'm gonna go look for him real quick. I just have a theory. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna play for about 30 more minutes and we'll call it there.
What's this? What the hell is that? Ow, my face! What the hell? Come on, up. God damn it. This is all day, all across the Commonwealth. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. The poor dog. Okay, that fucking hurt.
love to hit me right in the face. Oh no! That hurt. One button. I hit him right in the face. Damn it. Damn. All of my limbs and my legs. <laughs> Both my arms are... <laughs> Mysterious stranger, let's go! That's what I was trying to do the whole time. Got him. What is this? Increase damage after each specific hit on the same target. Okay.
I really have no ammo. God damn it. Silver Shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Kent Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. What the fuck was that? Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, <laughs> shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. Just a down this alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> oh, shiny the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business doors or cross on the roof. Jesus Christ! What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud! Just getting warmed up over here! the streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mystery of Mayor Murphy. Slowly now, reveal yourself. Shroud. Fret not, old friend. It's only me. Mistress of mystery. What uh, brings uh, you to Scully Square on such a foul night? The best decision we've Tracking ever our dear Mayor Look Murphy, at this who's there? who is up to yeah. some mischief. What? The mayor. So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity. It's a bunch of, like, P.I.s. The contents of the late mayor's case. These are real estate here for the detectives. Pieces of the end for most of the businesses. Indeed, they are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem our mayor was involved in a rather crooked caper. He was here to meet with some other mysterious malefactor. So, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place. Oh, I hit the dog. God damn it. Shroud. 
about this, crime fighter! Later, suckers! Silver Shroud! You're shot! Uh, just... a graze. You must... go after him. No. We'll let our quarry flee for now. That bullet must be removed. And you're bleeding. Badly. Must get back to my... Mysterious stranger. I think that's literally what I'm doing right now. That's the silver shroud. He's sa saving me. So. Thirteen. I want something that helps my aiming in. I 
need to get that eventually, local leader. Okay, awareness. To defeat your enemies, know their weakness. You can view the target specific damage resistances in VATS. Alright, we'll, we'll get awareness. Help me kill, help me kill things easier. Thermal here. Terminated terminal venue functions have been shut down. Please contact the system administrator. Okay. The purchasing of subway tokens for this station will automatically cease on 21177 to consolidate the station closing. Can't do it. Oh, what the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a vault door. What? Vault 114.
so loud. Hey. Oh, they're in here. They're using this vault as like a base of operations. some rounds in this. Hell yeah, let's use it. That's good. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Huh? Wait a minute. I'm about to die.
that right now. Concerns mainly because I have to end my stream in just a moment. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. All right, guys. Three strike. I have to take a break here. I'm so sorry. I know we're like right in the middle of this mission, saving this detective and all. In the black book. But that but is never... going to be it for right now. Oh. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow the Lost Trophy. That's me on Twitch and YouTube. And definitely tune in next time for more Fallout 4. I am absolutely going to continue playing this game. I am enjoying it. It is fun. I love the lore of the world, and I'm excited to see if they make another one. I'm hoping Fallout 5 isn't too far off on the horizon. All right. Have a good one, everybody.